Well, here it is again, back in the gallery. It seems months, actually it is months, it was before Christmas when I last spoke to you. Back then I was talking about how the Walter Dexter book was getting ready to come out. And lo and behold, it is now out. That's old news. On to the next news. Uh, next uh, week I'm actually going off to Victoria where I'll be doing a book signing at the Fired Up exhibition, the 28th annual Fired, Exhi uh, Fired Up exhibition. Uh, which I've attended for the last four years. I'm really looking forward to seeing the whole group out there. Uh, the exhibition here, which is why the gallery at the moment is looking a little bit disheveled, uh, Brian, my gallery manager, who many of you know, will be hosting his first ever uh, show all on his own. So while I'm out in BC, whining and dining and um, sipping white wine, Brian will be doing his bit here, so if you're watching this and you've got your invitation, uh, come on out on Thursday the 24th at 7 p.m. for the Fusion Show. Why Fusion? Because Fusion is the Canadian Contemporary Clay and Glass Association. They have, since 1985 when they got their charter, worked hard at promoting contemporary Canadian clay and glass in local, regional, provincial and internationally and their conference will be taking place uh, in London next week. The Potter's Guild of London at the Clay Arts Centre will be hosting them. At Museum London there will be a teapot exhibition and here we will be showcasing the artist past and present uh, members of Fusion and we will also be incorporating into that exhibition those members across Canada uh, not members of Fusion, but people who have presented workshops, for example, Mira Matheson, and uh, we'll have work of theirs on hand. So in this room, it will be a showcase of Fusion members' work and those artists who, over the past number of years, have presented workshops. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be really, really exciting. And um, as I say, it'll be Brian's first show, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And over the past few months, I've been giving a number of talks. I've just uh, come back from doing a talk on collecting contemporary Canadian ceramics at the Tom Thompson Gallery up in Owen Sound, where I was hosted by the delightful uh, gallery director, uh, Virginia Icorn. It was a great time. It was wonderful to be up there talking at the Tom Thompson about uh, contemporary clay and we had an enthusiastic uh, response. The retrospective by Jack Schurz is what was happening, and if you haven't seen it, I've seen it both in Regina and again at, at Owen Sound. Fabulous show. Jack is an extraordinary artist, and for anyone who's interested in seeing a contemporary Canadian ceramic artist's work from both a uh, historical perspective and current day perspective is the show to go to. It really is amazing. Speaking of historical artists, uh, now that the uh, Walter Dexter book is out, I will be, and matter of fact, my publisher is right on me to make sure that the long-awaited book on Ruth Gowdy McKinley will be coming out, An Exuberant Toast, that will be out in August. And in addition to that, because, um, uh, well, my, my publishing house, uh, Ronald P. Fry, is um, very enthusiastic about promoting contemporary Canadian ceramics and came across some pieces in my collection of Joanne Kopp's work and consequently has asked me to do a, a short essay on, on Joanne showcasing uh, her incredible work. Uh, regrettably, uh, Joanne, who died in 2010, there isn't any more work to be had uh, but we borrowed back from all of our clients those pieces that we've sold over the past 10 years and uh, shortly you'll see um, a quick uh, view of these pieces that have been graciously loaned by the collectors and they will be sh uh, showcased in the book. Uh, yesterday Jackie Noble, who was the photographer for the Walter Dexter book, will, uh, and who actually is our in-house photographer, not so much that she's in-house all the time, but whenever we need anything done, Jackie's there to do it for us. And uh, I know that the visuals will be as exciting in the book on Joanne Kopp and on Ruth Gaddy McKinley as they were in the Walter Dexter book. Once again, Thursday, May 24th, 7 p.m., Fusion opens in the gallery. 
and that show runs until uh, June 9th, and then in July, we have the Beale Retrospective with Marianne Fisher, Nancy Latchford, and Connie Jeffries. And then, of course, it'll be our big August show, but there will be another video newsletter before that. So read this, listen to this, memorize it, and don't forget to look at my blogs because I am a little bit more current than that on that than I have been in the past, and uh, I'm doing my best to try to get at least in daily. And again, from the Jonathan Van Croft Snell Gallery in downtown London, drop in, swing by, there's some extraordinary work. Uh, speaking of extraordinary work, this is a piece that is in the exhibition uh, next week, and this is by Bruce Taylor, and uh, he will be here at the opening, and so will uh, Kirsten Abrahamson, uh, who I'm really, really pleased, and uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Names, too many to mention. Again, good to be back. Take care.